Vegan food hasn't always appealed to the masses, but St. Petersburg is seeing a shift. A number of vegan-based businesses are popping up in the area, and one entrepreneur just opened her third. In St. Pete's Grand Central District, Celine Belgian is making a mark in the growing vegan industry. I own Valhalla Bakery, Valkyrie Donuts, and Freya's Diner. Um, we are plant-based concepts where we are trying to make a change and show people that you can eat healthy and have a good diet. The sweet treat offerings of Valhalla Bakery adjoin the savory options at Freya's. This is my favorite local vegan place. Freya's Impossible Burger. I'm really excited to try it. Valkyrie Donuts is just a few doors down. This is our donut. So it's a square donut because our donuts are square. I grew up as a punk rock kid in the 90s. So I wanted to have fun colored hair and just kind of live my life. But she bakes hard in business and in her purpose for this vegan comfort food. My cousin's son has severe dairy allergies. So when we started creating food, I wanted to make things that he could have and that more people could have access to. So by removing eggs and dairy, which are two of the most common allergens, it makes a really good product that more people can have. And if we can create recipes where you can't tell, and most people don't know that we're plant-based. Um, it just creates a better product all around that's more accessible. Celine opened her first Valhalla and Valkyrie locations in Orlando and saw rising opportunity in the Sunshine City. When I started looking at St. Pete, it's such a gem. Like just walking around and seeing like the small businesses and the fiercely localness of it. She had a niche. We didn't have a bakery. Local leaders have noticed a big takeoff in the vegan food market in St. Pete. It wasn't a category before. Just three years ago, we had maybe one or two. Love Food Central was is one of the most popular. This has become uh, a Valhalla has become a, a big popular one. I just think we're skewing younger, younger generation. People are responding to what the audience is. It's a reflection upon your changing demographics uh, for those that want to have additional food uh, that they can enjoy while whether they live here or whether they're on vacation. Cider Press is a great example of one that really started. And you've also got uh, plant-based ice cream. So in fact, someone even said you could actually go through and plan your whole day around vegan restaurants from breakfast all the way to dessert at night. And as these vegan-friendly options expand, so does the appeal. I would say probably 75% of our customers are not vegan, but they're attracted to it because we're making aesthetic delicious food and I think it's the same across the board. St. Petersburg will also be getting an all vegan grocery store. Black Radish Grocers expected to open this fall. They already have a location in Tampa.